Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Eternal Sonata. So, last time, we started our journey up here at the Xylophone Tower of the Shining Keys, the tower that we have to ascend, in order to be able to eliminate the force field that's over in the noise dunes for us to be able to continue on to go to where Count Waltz and the mutated Legato are hiding. So, we've completed the first two levels of the trial of these particular, um, well, I don't know what you would necessarily call these things that Allegretto's standing next to, but it's certainly, um, I, I really wouldn't know how to describe this thing. It just looks like a big thing with a curve on it and maybe a few feathers. So, anyway, let's go ahead and talk to it. So, you have noticed me, a guardian of this tower, peerless in its heights. My, my, you've done well to come so far. How were the trials of my younger brothers? Did you enjoy yourself? <laughs> I see, I see. You found it that interesting, did you? Yeah, I did. Well, I will give you the final trial, insignificant though it may be. I will play my song shortly. However, before I begin, a word of caution. Yeah, if you hadn't been keeping track, or if you aren't using game facts, this is where this trial becomes particularly challenging. Be at ease, it is nothing of great import. It is only here that the keys will not light as they did on the lower floors. So yeah, if you hadn't been keeping track, on this third trial, the notes that were played in the first two trials will not be lit up here. It will still be the same combination of notes, but they will not light up, so you just have to make sure that you're keeping track. Isn't that simple? Well, shall we get going? Yeah, so as you can see, the music is not showing up, or it's not lighting up, until Quintet here makes his addition. Which is those notes. And so now, it falls on us to play the song correctly. B flat on the left, G on the right, F on the right, G on the right, F on the right, E flat. And then... Crap, I'm getting myself lost. B flat on the left, G on the right, the two C's, and then G on the right, B flat on the right, A flat on the right. And there we go. And as I said, if you weren't keeping track, you're in trouble. But thankfully, modern technology allows us the use of being able to record our stuff for reference as well as using game facts. So we can move on now. That was the final trial, but we still have one more section of monsters to defeat, and in addition to that, we also have to defeat the boss of the Xylophone Tower. Because yeah, there is a boss. Now you didn't think it would be as easy as simply playing music, did you? Alright, bring it on. Here we go. Pound away, Allegretto. And open up on him. Did your stomach drop? Go. Let's slash him there, March. I uh, can't quite kill it. Maybe Viola can? Yep, she can. And then launch with the Sacred Strike. Boom! Alright, bring it on. Yeah, it's gonna transition and transition again. Transition and transition again. Well, depending on where this goes... Maybe double plays in the works? I doubt it, but we could have it happen. In fact, I'm gonna go and have uh, March come over here and attack this guy, because yeah, I wanna set Viola up for double play if it can indeed happen. Alright, go! Viola can't kill the one. Oh, because March, on the delay, killed the other. Alright, whatever, I'll take it. And March also got an experience level. And we also got a rare drop, the Star Clock. So March is now to 42. Experience is what counts. Let's see what the Star Clock does. 
As, yeah, that's a rare drop. Star Clock allows you to return a turn of the, recover a turn of the action gauge. So, it's like the Celestial Hourglass, only, um, I, I guess it would be strong, a stronger version of the Celestial Hourglass. So we can continue on. Up the beautiful stairs. Despite the discordant music. Don't take all day. And I want to make a beeline towards the um, alternate uh, ego, the alter ego, because I want to eliminate it and then focus on the two floating stone statue thingies and try and reduce them to rubble. And I'm gonna have my Viola go melee here. No, she won't. This will lead us to a heal arrow. And we can also do Harmony Chain. There goes Full Moon Bind. And that enemy is gone. Oh, attack from behind. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. But, Alagrad holds his own and go. Go, Alagrad, ho, go. Pound it out. And March his turn. Now, right in the face. Right in the face. And. Gone. That was fun. It was, wasn't it? And away we go again. Yeah, despite the discordant music. And back at it. Which means back to more discordant music. It certainly sounds hilarious, but you wouldn't necessarily want to play it yourself. Alright. Back to these guys. And this time there are two of them. Hey, I'm over here. Come on. Ah, couldn't react fast enough to the Iron Fist. And it even does a funky move with its hands. This one's not even gonna wait for an invitation, it's just gonna get right in the face of March there. So we're definitely gonna have to keep our wits about us here. Did I make your eyes spin? Want March to get some breathing room. And then away we go. Yeah, primarily for the fact that I want to get some distance. And then, you will strike. It scores nearly 30,000 points. And he's not gonna make a move. Yeah, it helps that when they're far away, they really are not inclined to make much of a move. Because they aren't as intuitive as other monsters. And now Legretto's getting close to gaining another experience level. And he's gonna get it before we complete this tower. To meet you. Uh, I don't think the feeling is sentimental there, March. It's not a mutual feeling. Uh, I'm so accustomed to wanting to use the um, ability of my... Uh, to guard rather than to counterattack. I've got to be able to short at some point. But that would be nice. And it would be a shame if I couldn't show it off. But it is, it is such a low percentage occurrence. I'm going to use Night Arrow here. Yeah, because I need to heal my party. That's a greater priority. Save myself from having to always use healing items. And thankfully, the enemy did not make an attack. Go, March. Right in the hand. Yeah, we're going to kill him by hitting him in the hand. We're gonna slit his wrists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we slit his wrists, he bleeds out and dies. But don't do it yourself at home. No, by all means, do not do it yourself at home. And yeah, this time it's very obvious. We have to go left. But I want to see, and we can see from here there's a treasure chest we found over on the right. So we gotta go find it. Well, we, we, can, we know where it is, we just have to actually get there. And Allegretto gained battle an experience level in the last battle. So, now to you. Well, let's see. This could be double play. They set themselves up for it. There goes one. And 
Oh, on Harmony Chain. Yes, double play. <laughs> yeah, kind of set himself up for that, and it worked out. Yeah, the two enemies have been targeting Allegretto, and kind of realized that, yeah, this could be double play, and it was. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. I'm not taking any chances with that. And yeah, Allegretto is slashing his sword over March's head. And Viola's close to an experience level. Okay. Then, let's start going this way. And Viola got up to another experience level in that last battle. So now, over here to the far right, because we know that there's a treasure chest over here, there's also an enemy to, that we can deal with, so let's get the chest first, containing... Needhog's Fang, an enhanced sword for Allegretto. Yeah, it just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Yeah, another 18 points, plus a chance of poisoning the enemy. I would definitely take it, and then some. Right, now it's your turn to die. Oh, three of them, I'm and a possibility of a double play. <laughs> Let's see where they all go. Uh, they're gonna spread out. Which is smart on their part. Oh, okay, go. Go, go, go. Oh, not quite how I wanted to do it. Did I make your eye spin? But... March will definitely make up for lost time. Uh, I don't know if this is even possible, but let's see where this goes. Come on, full triple play, triple play. Oh no, that's that wasn't it. That wasn't it at all. Ah, crap, and it's dead. And uh, one or two sacred strike. Ow, and that sacred strike goes into the pillar there. I guess I got what I deserved. Ah, what, what a shame. That was definitely setting up for a double play or even a triple play, depending on where they were going. But the way that the damage was being dealt, unfortunately, didn't pan out. Oh, I was, I was really hoping we could get another double play there. That was fun. Yeah, we didn't lose that much in terms of health, either. So, yeah, not, not that much of a loss. Um, okay, nothing there. Nothing there, which means we got the treasure we were looking for, which means we can now go over to the left side in order to start completing this location. Let's give it a view. Okay, and I'll need to take a uh, healing after that one, not because, you know, for some reason, March was getting attacked from the side when she should have been able to defend against it, but for some reason it wouldn't allow me to do so. And she ended up taking quite a big hit there. Oh, close that with the possibility of a double play, but of course they get to go first. And who knows where they're gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can improve the odds. I'm gonna see if I can improve the odds of a double play. And once again... Alright, let's go after you now. Because I really want to set up that double play possibility. And I hope it works out. Yeah, it is going the same direction as the first one did. Alright, Viola, go melee. Take that. Take that. Oh, I, th I think I took it away from myself there. Oh, well, yeah, that offers a harmony chain, but not on the right opponent. Not bad. And since Viola has her back turned, she cannot defend against this. But, the double play possibility is still there. Let's see what we can go with it. And there we go! We got the double play. We got the double play after all. And so, that means we can save the game. So, I will now proceed to take a quick timeout, and then we will move on to the last part of the place, this Xylophone Tower, so... Take the save and you'll be right back. Okay, so we have reached the last place before the boss, so let's go ahead and pay him a visit. And this instance, we're getting two bosses. 
And these are two pallet swaps from previous times that we've had to fight bosses. So we're gonna have to go in a tag team style. So these guys are the sentries of the tower, huh? Let's go! And go we shall! In a three on two boss duel. Don't be such a crybaby. And we get the first attack. I wanna start by taking out the little guy first. Did I make your eyes I don't know if there's I don't know if it's necessarily um there's really much of a difference in who you choose to go after first, but um Yeah, I really don't know if there is a difference, to be honest. I, I think they may have equal HP. Alright, so now... And I did not prepare properly before we started this. I, I should have. Ooh! And I want your friend. I, I'm not ready for you, big ugly with a sword. Yeah, since your friend is the status effector, he's more of a concern to me. Up, oh, false start. Yeah, that's poison. Yeah, writing was on the wall there. Yep, yeah, let drop let your guard down. And that'll definitely cause damage. I wanna go night arrow here. Cause I gotta save the two that are right there on the front lines. And not bad. Yeah, if they were a little closer to each other, perhaps I could strike them both at the same time, but I don't think I can. Did I make your eye spin? I could have, once again, used the counterattack. Lower your guard, thank you. And... Nice. Take that. Oh, yeah, I should have seen that one. I should have seen that one coming with the big guy in the way. It was blocking Viola's shot. Did I make your eye spin? Oh no, the big guy's going after Viola, and Viola can't defend. Okay, Alugato's come out of his poisoning. March has not yet. And that'll continue to weaken it. Oh, what? Yeah, I was surprised Viola hadn't gotten the turn. Out of the way, or you're gonna oh, we do set ourselves up for a harmony chain. Then the phantom wave. Keep the harmony chain going. Oh, it's a healing harmony chain. Well, it doesn't matter. It's Viola. We need you out in the open to hit Sacred Strike. Yeah, hang in there, you two. You're doing a great job. You guys are doing a great job so far with the little guy. Spin around, and there we go. And that was a false start, and that's a 3,000 point penalty. Uh, definitely justified in this instance. Did I make your eye spin? No! Ow, no! Couldn't save myself. Okay, this time there's no choice, it has to be heal arrow. No choice. Alright. Honey cookie. To Viola. Damn it, my reflexes are too slow. It could cost me someone's life here. Did I make your eye spin? And trying to fend against that. Good. Alright, back on this guy, because yeah, he is hunched over now. Which means he is soon dead. Go, Viola. Go, Viola. Go, Viola. Go, Viola. Go, and then he'll arrow. Then he'll arrow. Back at it there, Allegretto. Let's put this little guy away for good. Did that scare you? Now hold on, Viola. You can do it. Uh, again. That's all. I always go with first instinct, which is to use. Never mind. Yeah, that's a waste of two turns. Yeah, March got her turn cancelled. Goes right into Viola, who targets the big guy in front. At least we killed off the first boss. 
at least we accomplished that much. But March is still poisoned. Yeah, she's been poisoned for a while now. How was that? And now we can focus on Big Ugly. And take care of him for good. Did I make your eyes spin? Alright, Viola. Evil Strike. Alright, keep going, March. Keep on going and do not stop. Once again, not allowed to finish the turn. Yeah, for some reason, I am really having problems with timing issues here. Yeah, my reflexes are not fast enough to deal with the attacks, and when I want to use the attack that I do need to use, I don't use it in time. Well, he definitely looks like he's staggered. He definitely looks like he is staggering. And... Oh. Yeah, get behind there, Alagato. Get behind. And he's gone. We win. How was that? Well, it could have gone better, but we do got 50 to 8,000 experience points, two accessories, the Eye of Horus and the Tyrant's Crown, and Theosia's Bone and Enhanced Longsword for Jazz. And on top of that, March gained an experience level, so March is now up to 43. Uh -huh. And so there we go. So that's the seal. Let's go ahead and step on it. And in so doing, we are now going to be able to complete the challenge that was set before us. Stepping on the seal allows us to deactivate the force field that is located in the noise dunes and we can now move on to where Count Waltz and the Mutated Legato are located. And so that's all there is to it. And so we don't even have to walk out. We're just simply teleported back out. Okay, so... With my situation currently as it stands, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories we got our hands on. Um... Start with, um... Tyrant's Crown, which increases your max HP by 20%. So, yeah, that is a huge jump. Um, let's see here. As much as I want to give it to Marge, she has the recovery gloves on. Uh, and Viola's um, accessory only increases max HP by 5%. Uh, that's a tough one. Um... You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to equip the Tyrant's Crown on March. That'll put her at 13,000 HP. And she'll still be effective in battle, because of course she can get Harmony Chains very easily. I want to give... swap out the Lace Veil with the... Um, power Ring, so that'll put Viola to 365. Yeah, that is a massive jump, and we'll see if that indeed proves to be the better strategy. So, I'm going to go back over to the um, shop at the Elegy of the Moon here. Because we're going to want to take the... Yeah, for some reason it said east here. I think they got their directions messed up. Mixed up. So, we want to come back to the merchant because he also offers us sleep at a price of 200 gold a night. So, we're going to go ahead and take it. After getting our butts kicked the way we did. So... What I want to start doing now is to start shopping. So, let's start selling, first of all. I want to get rid of the old swords that we have. And all the old weapons, period. Because, yeah, we really won't have much need for these things anymore. Um, I'll sell off the Vanquisher because we can give the Theosis Bone to um, Allegretto. And then we can start selling armor. Yeah, we have a lot of inventory that we never seem to sell off because I'm so fixated on wanting to get to the finish line, as it were. Alright, so now let's go ahead and not do that. 
Let's go ahead and equip Jazz with his new longsword. So yeah, that puts him over 300 points as well. Now, by the time we get to the end, everyone should be close to 300 attack strength, if not over it already. So now on to start buying items. Because I have 39,000 gold. I want to focus on recovery items. Um... Yeah, they only have two options. So I'm going to start buying these items. 24 of those. And then... 14 of those. Now, I can, I can always get more later. In fact, I'm gonna put myself up at 30 Floral Essence. And you can never have enough healing items, especially as we get towards the end of the game. So, we can now proceed to move on. And so, we're gonna make our way back to the start of the base of the Xylophone Tower, because, yeah, we're, we're pretty much on 30 minutes in terms of the recording time that I have here right now, so we're gonna go ahead and bring this episode to a close. So, with the Xylophone Tower of the Shining Keys now completed, we can now move on to what is essentially the game's final location, and so that's what we're going to do next time. And so with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Eternal Sonata. And when I join you again, we will make our way to the game's final location, where the main storyline takes place. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.